Hi everyone. Hello. I'm Renee. I'm Joel. We're gonna give you some details on the Skyhook, how it works. So it comes out in uh, two colors. It's come out in a brown. And uh, a black. It can be used as the right-hander and it can be reversed to a left-hander. Like this. So um, when you use it as a, when you unpack it, it comes out as a right-hander, but with this piece of leather, you can just reverse it and then like it this. becomes a lefter. Yes. Now, a lot of you guys out there are asking, can my sword fit into this? The sword width, width for this, for this sky hook is about five to five and a half centimeters. If your blade is broader than five and a half centimeters, you can put it in there because this is made of leather and it can flex, but it's not gonna be perfect. So it's up to you to decide. Ooh, oh, there's a weather going on. So it's up to you to decide how well you want it to fit compared to the to the width of your blade. Um, down here, you can adjust it when it comes out. Show on this one. Um, the the bottom part is mounted down here. Now we just move this up here to show you guys that can also be adjusted a bit. So you can actually put in a 75 centimeter stronghold sword pretty easily, like that, and it will fit. But if you want a sword to fit in there perfectly and be all the way of the length of the skyhook, it has to be an 85 centimeter sword because that will have a blade of about 70, 74 to 75 centimeters length of the blade and that's perfect from up here all the way down to here. Um, in regards of the width of the blade down by the tip of the blade, that can be adjusted. Now this one is a, uh, a very a slim blade, but you can also put in a much broader uh, blade in here by adjusting this. If you turn around and show uh, how we've done here. Oh, is that an axe? It's excellent. It's <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Yes. Cool. So um, if we show, try to pull that out. Cool. And um, extreme. If we if we show that, that'll go, that'll go in there perfectly well and then can be adjusted like that. So it's not made for an axe, but because it's pretty flexible here, up here, you will be able to mount, you know, different weapons in there. Now, here comes the limitations, the restrictions. If your cross guard is, how can I say, taller than five centimeters, it can become a problem for it to fit in there. So we are talking about, if you, yeah, give me the blade there. We are talking about if the sword is more than five centimeters from the bottom of the, of the cross guard towards the blade and up till the handle part, it will not fit in there. So, um, so that you have to be aware of. And if we show it, It'll go in there like that. Now here, you would need to you know, put that in there and then it fits in perfectly. Okay. Can you show how you would put it in yes. when you just turn around? That'll be the last part. That's it. Yeah. And then, yeah. So uh, the last thing I want to say is Inside there is a uh, fiber, fiber glass, uh, glass fiber core, glass fiber core, a rod. So it, it bends a bit, but it's fiber pretty glass stiff. Fiber glass is called. Well, yes. fiber glass in Danish, but if you say it in English, it's actually glass fiber. Yes. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, and this at the end goes into your belt. Yes. Yeah. I can, yeah. If you guys have any questions, post it in the comment and. Um, We'll catch up and give you the answers. Yeah. Thank you for You're welcome. helping out.